Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tanya here. We, I come to you from my attic with another magical unboxing from Kiki Gear with Lola, of course. Apologies for the lighting. It is about eight o'clock at night. So of course there is no daylight whatsoever. So I'm having to rely on my room light. So if it's a bit crap, apologies, but whatever. Okay, so we have the uh, Lola. Could you not please? Okay. Are you done? <sighs> I am sorry, balance. Ugh. I am balancing you on my bed. So Lola just got up and just ruined the whole and she's coming back. Lola, could you lay there, please? No, no, no. Lay there. No, don't come near the tripod. Cats. You can get away from my gingerbread tree as well. Come on. Get down. Oh my god, look, Eva. Either lay down on the bed or just don't, please. Right, lay there. There you go. Well, now my soul skew whiff. You've buggered up my set now. And now it's wonky. I hope you're happy with yourself, Lola. Look at this. Is that where it was? It'll do. Okay. Lay there, please, and do not move. Thank you very much. Okay, she's settled now. She's gonna lay down. Anyway, um, as I was saying, we have this month's geek gear. So we have, oh, pfft, then dropped it. We have the yellow box because I'm Hufflepuff. We also have a snazzy um, festive Christmas sticker. This is the festive box, so I'm quite excited to see what they've done with this box. I'm sorry about the glare on my glasses. Shall we begin? Oh, I love these boxes just for that bit. Okay. So we open it to this lovely yellow tissue paper with something shining through. Ooh, could it be? Okay, I'm gonna just grab the first thing like I always do. Oh, there's a box. Ooh, oh, okay. So we've got this cute little box which says magical creature egg, if you can see that. So let's see what's inside this little, ooh, okay. So we have an egg. Here we have, this is one of the silver eggs of the um, Occamy, Occamy? Oh, that big bird snake thingy from Fantastic Beasts that have the silver eggs. We have a little, it's not squishy, it's um, a little plastic figurine of the, is it Occamy? Occamy? I think it's Okami. I want to say Okami. It's just starting to hatch out of its silver shell. That's pretty cute. Oh, that would be so cute on my Harry Potter shelves. So we, that's our first item. It's a cute little egg. Okay. So that is festive item number one in a cute little festive box. I think we've got the t-shirt up next. Ooh. Ooh, what is this? Okay, so we have this design what is it Ooh! oh so it's like a cable like a, a knitted jumper kind of design with um snitches across here um the hufflepuff badger of course with some cups and then more snitches are they snitches or owls i think they're snitches aren't they called snitches so um i'm assuming you get whichever house you're in so I'm um, Hufflepuff, of course. So I have the Hufflepuff top. That is really cute. It's I like it because it's kind of got a festive feel, but at the same time, you could wear this any time of year and people wouldn't think you're weird for wearing a festive top. So I like that they've kind of made it a bit festive, but it's not overly Christmassy. We have another box. Ooh, okay. We have a pin. 
but it has so we've got this dark green pin that says portion master on it i like that actually it's quite a hefty pin i'm not sure where i would put that but it's it's quite nice it's um as you can see in the light it's kind of a raised design it's very dark i'm so sorry i can't really sure but it just says potion master potions master with a kind of calligraphy kind of design that's actually really nice how did that even go in there okay so we have an enamel pin We've got something in a packet Okay, we've got this. I think this might be a stocking. If it is, OMG, because, ooh. Oh my God, it is, it's a cute little stocking. Oh my God. <gasps> that is freaking adorable. Again, it must be a house item. So um, I'm assuming the H is Hufflepuff and not Harry Potter. But I'll have to wait to see in the pamphlet to see if um, it comes with your house letter. But how cute is that stocking? That is so gone on my fireplace. <gasps> oh my god, that's adorable. That is, I've, I really wanted a Harry Potter stocking this year. And this is perfect. I think this is my favourite item. And I haven't even finished the box yet. <gasps> oh my god, it's adorable. Okay. It's like, okay, I'll tell you more about it. It's kind of like a fleecy material. It's got a little little hook. It's so adorable. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Favourite thing of the year. Okay, oh we have another box. Ooh, okay. We have a Geek Gear Wizardry house coin. It's very house orientated this year. This month, should I say? Ooh. Oh, this is well cool. I love coins. It's a weird obsession I have. I don't collect them per se, but when the new pound coin came out, I kept an old pound coin and a new pound coin, and I have them together in my drawer, you know, just so that I have one, have them. It's, I don't know. So on one side of the coin, it says, oh, I don't know if you can see it. It says, oh, loyalty, which is the Hufflepuff, you know, loyalty. I, I don't know. Um, with a badger. And then on the other side, it says the Bank of Wizardry. And then the Geek Gear logo. Lola, please don't reach for the tripod. Be a good kitty, please. Lola, I'll give you this coin. No, you are being so good. Why do you have to mess with the camera tripod now? Tripod. I'll give you a coin. Oh, she went for my coin. Why is she a lovely coin? Isn't it pretty? Don't, don't bite it. No, don't be playful, please. Now is not the time. I'll play with you later. <sighs> Animals. Okay. Anyway, with the Geek Gear logo in the middle, it's quite hefty. Is it, stop going for the tripod. Oh, she's a spoilers. Be good, please. Don't you sit in there all nice for about 20 minutes. 10 minutes, sorry. Seven. And now you've been all... I don't even have a word for you right now. Okay. Back to the coin. Animals. Right. I've just noticed that there is a one underneath the badger. God, you're making me crap myself every time you go for that tripod. I don't even know what she's looking at. There is nothing there. What are you doing? Right. So it has a one on it. I don't know if this is going to be their new collector's thing. Are they going to start giving out coins now every month? That would be awesome if they did. Please do that, Geek Gear. Please give us a coin every every month because that would literally make my life. I could be something new to collect. So I'm hoping that in the pamphlet it will say if this is like a thing, you know, every month they'll have coins. I've spoke way too much about coins. Let's carry on. Ooh, okay, we have... a. Uh, licensed product uh it is a key ring that says i'd rather be at hogwarts yeah i like this i like this key ring i think i shall put this somewhere i'm not sure where um but i will find a place for you my friend that is our licensed product Ooh, 
Ooh, we got something else. Ooh, we got something else. Okay. Oh. Oh, we have some Christmas cards. Oh my God, that is the cutest bow chocolate I've ever seen. I don't know if this is just one card. I think it's one. Oh, I don't know. It feels very thick. Unless it's a well-made card. I can't even get in it. Who packaged this? What the hell? Okay. Oh, we have multiple cards. Oh my God. Okay. So the first one we have is this really cute bull truckle with baubles on like he's a tree and a Christmas hat. Oh my God. That is really cute. Oh, and it's even got stuff on the inside. Oh, little cauldrons. Oh. And then it, uh, artwork is by Cartwell, I want to see that says. And then we have another one. Oh, it's cute. Of Santa flying from Hogwarts. Oh, that is also um, by Cartwell, I think it is. So you get these two cards. Oh, I had Christmas cards last year in one of my boxes and I just felt like I couldn't use them because they were just too cute that I didn't want to send them to anyone. Um, so I'll probably just keep these, but they're cute. You know, I could put these up at Christmas as like my own decoration. So that's really cute. And it comes with these really nice envelopes. They're quite thick, decent envelopes. Lola, I can see you messing around with the tripod. I'm not blind. Okay, we've got, ooh, we've got quite a few, oh no, right, we've got some recipes. Ooh, we've got gingerbread wizards. Oh, it's quite a long one. It's one of the, one of the two fold. And that feels really oddly thick. That's just one. Um, creatures French onion soup. I don't know if I like French onion soup. Um, it does look a bit dodgy. But I don't know if this is what I'm going to make. Lola, could you please not? Jesus Christ. Please <clears throat> stop playing with the tripod. Yeah, yeah. So we've got <clears throat> our two recipes. And then final piece before the pamphlet. I can't get it out as every time. I can never get the print out. It's out, it's out, it's out. Ooh. We have this Hufflepuff design, which is kind of like a light up, kind of constellation feel to it, um, of a badger for Hufflepuff. Looks like it says Nufflepuff, but I digress. A nice print. So I assume again, you would get your house. So that is everything. So let's see what it says. This month, okay, the exclusive wizardry coin. Oh, look, I'm all wonky now, Lola. Sorry, I've just noticed that she's made me wonky. Now she's playing with her own tail. Okay. The coin. This month, we have included one of these amazing wizardry coins. Um, awesome wizardry coins, should I say. You will receive your chosen house either silver or limited gold edition. Ah, I got silver. Although I prefer silver, so actually, who's the winner here? The gold coins are all numbered, adding to their rarity, making each of these fantastic collectors piece. Yeah, that got you sorted, didn't it? God. She's buggered it up now. I don't even know where it was. Was I here? Am I in the same place? Right. So, um, by the looks of it, all the coins have a number one on them, except the gold ones, which all have numbers. So, if you got a gold one, well done. Good, like... That's lucky, I guess. Um, let me know in the comments below if... Oh, my God, you should see her. Like, she was on her back. That was ridiculous. Lola, could you stop playing with your tail 
for like five minutes so I can finish my video, please. Let me know in the comments below if you got gold or silver. It'd be interesting to know if any, you know, how many people got the gold. <sighs> Next up, the greetings cards. Scottish artist Kevin Cantwell, that's nearly what I said, um, has outdone himself with these quirky festive card designs created just for us. Which are these? Um, we have included one of each of the designs and envelopes for you to send to your nearest and dearest this holiday season. Or keep and put up as decorations. Yay! <laughs> And then the key ring, each of you will receive one of these licensed Hogwarts key rings featuring the Hogwarts crest. Lovely. And then your recipes. Ooh, and then your... Get, 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 get. Stocking. This month, you will find a fabulous house-related stocking in your box. This item is perfect to hang on your fireplace. That is what I said I was going to do. Or door handle for those smaller festive goodies. And yes, it is your house's letter. It's not Harry Potter. Um, then the egg. I can't bother to get back the box, but the egg. Can you tell what treasured magical creature is peeking out from this fantastic silver-coloured egg? Yes, I can. The item is a great piece for your collection in keeping with the newly released magical feature film. Fantastic beasts and where to find them. Crimes of Grindelwald. Sorry, I got so into Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. That was like, wait, no, that bit isn't in it. It's just Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald. I was close enough. That film, though, is really good and you should watch it. If you haven't watched it already, go see it because it is really good and then we have the house print uh, we have included one of these amazing house related prints featuring your Hogwarts mascot in a constellation style design that's what I said oh I love it when I get it right okay constellation that's what I said you, you heard me right I said that earlier you will receive your chosen house this print will be an excellent addition to any wall it would, it would. Then we have the enamel pin. Uh, reward yourself with the prestigious title of Potions Master with this fantastic high quality enamel pin badge. Then, lastly, the t-shirt. We love this design. Teamed with a cracker crown and a turkey dinner, you'll be in perfect attire for the festivities. Printed on a high quality Gildan soft style t-shirt, you will receive your chosen house. Again, there we go. So that's the pamphlet. That is everything you get. And then next month, ugh, can't speak. Next month's box hint is the night bus. Oh, ooh. But it's a snazzily designed, drawn night bus. So is that a hint that it's gonna be night bus themed or prisoner of azkaban themed or whoever this artist is could be it could be that one of their designs is going to be in the box hmm. but yeah anyway that was such a good box i don't know if it felt that festive i mean other than i mean i know there was a stock in and obviously christmas cards but other than them two items and the t-shirt we've kind of had like a wintry jumper feel the other items to me didn't feel that festive um but i'll be interested to see what they do for december and hopefully hopefully i get it before christmas but obviously with christmas i don't know what the post is going to be like and when they're going to actually dispatch the boxes so i'm afraid you might not see me until next year after this video. Um, I mean, I'm hoping to do more videos um, rather than just unboxings because I've lately I've just been doing unboxings and I have filmed a few other things, but I've just not got around to editing them and then uploading them. So um, give me some suggestions in the comments of any videos that you want to see or that you think that I should film and I shall try my darndest to get them done. 
But um, as for this box, I think my favorite item is this stocking because it is just the cutest thing ever. Master has given Dobby a sock. Now I'm finally free. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, I think actually this and the coin are my favorites. I just love coins. I just, I don't know. It's something about them. But anyway, I think those two are my favorite. I love everything. Uh, again, well done Geek Gear. I think you've made a fantastic box again this month. Very much worth the money. I just would recommend these highly to anyone. They're such good items and they're re it's really quite a affordable box. But the stuff you get in it and also um, everything, all the um, RRPs of all the items are all in the pamphlet so I mean even from that you can you know you can tell that you're making a saving because I mean that's like what 10 30 30 40 from just the t-shirt the egg and the stocking and the coin if you get the silver coin that's like 40 quid the box is what 20 trying to think I can't it's, it's been so long since I subscribed that I can't I think it's about 20 pounds you might pay some kind of postage I'll put it in the description um, and I'll put the link for Geek Gear in the description in case you know go ahead subscribe please um so yeah um so yeah it's well worth its money I would highly recommend it that is November's box the festive box um I hope you enjoyed this video um, leave down in the comments which your favourite item was and also if you have had this box please tell me which coin you got because um, I would be interested to see if anyone who's got the gold coins. If I don't see you before have an amazing Christmas and a great new year and I will see you in the new year. Bye!